Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have learned about the inherit, initial, and also the unset property. We have learned it. Now let's try to learn last the last property which can control the inheritance. That is nothing but a revert property. So what does this revert property will do? For example, let's say that I will try to tell you one scenario. Let's say that I'm having a two element. Hello world. Okay, this is a hello world. This is our div element and here I am not applying anything and also I am having another one that is nothing but an another hello world. As usual you can say that the div element is a block level property and the both div elements will come one by one down you, you will be saying. That is a default prop that is the default behavior of a block level element. So the block level element means it will take the entire row up to the horizontal space it will take it and it will not allow any other element to come into this into its horizontal space that is nothing but row so this one hello world will come automatically at the bottom so now if you try to see here who is telling this one so who is telling that this is a block level element if you try to say here div element and here if you observe here the div element is having a display block which is applied by a browser style sheet okay so which is applied by a browser style sheet. so that means the css the display block is applied by the user agent style sheet for example, let's say that I am applying a div element and I want to apply the display to the initial. So that means I want to apply the display property. It should be applied to the initial value. The initial value for the display property is not block. It's a inline. If you try to observe the output here, so it will be having this one hello world and hello world are coming side by side. Why? We have told that the display property should be initial. Initial means this is an inline. So that means who is overriding that one the default value that is nothing but a browser browser is overriding the default value of the display property from inline to the block level element so now here i have used this initial thing so that <coughs> it is taking the default value for example let's say that okay so let's say that i am having a button i am having a button let's go into this one I am having a button so like this I am having a button click here click here so like this you are having a button so now I am having a button here for example let's say that we are having a button here so if you try to see the button these all the things are user agent style sheets okay so these all the CSS styles has been applied by the browser so now when you apply okay when you apply for this button all as unset means okay all as unset means then what it will happen here so this click here also will become something like this only for example let's say that i want all the things to be unset so that means it needs, it needs to take the initial value if it is a non-inheritable property if it is an inheritable property property means take the parents inheritance thing but i want only the background color okay i want only the background color that should be applied from the css style sheet that are applying from the browser okay i want to take only the background color so where is that background color some grayish color is there right i want to take only the background color of that button remaining all it should be unset so then what i can do here i have applied all is unset and here i can take background color i can use the revert okay if i use this revert so now here the background color here you'll be able to see the light grayish color we are able to observe it here so that is taken from the browser style sheet so that means when you apply background color revert means instead of taking the initial value that is nothing but a default value from the css property it will take the browser arranged css value so it will take the browser arranged one so the browser what it has applied it will take that browser applied css value instead of taking the initial value whereas if you try to type the inherit means it will try to take the parents background color so this is the two three difference between the inherit initial revert and unset so these are the main things which will affect the css in the uh, which will affect the inheritance in the css so now you understood about the revert right revert what it will try to take is whenever you apply a revert instead of applying the initial value for this one it will apply the browser applied 
css for this one so that is the use of this revert and also if you want you can also use the all revert so all revert is also supported in this one so now let's open the notepad we'll try to learn we'll try to conclude so that's about the css inheritance what we have learned one by one so if i try to open this one so first we have learned about the inherit property inherit property applies to both inheritable pro inheritable css and also the inheritable uh, non-inheritable properties also it will try to apply the inherit value now next one we have learned the initial so what does this initial do initial will apply the css default value okay the css default value or otherwise you can also say that initial value so which one which css uh, so which css property is having the initial value that prop that initial value will be applied to that property and the next one we have seen about the unset so when you try to use this unset if it is an inheritable property okay if it is an inheritable property it will apply the apply the inheritable value so here apply the inheritable value means that there is nothing but the parent css value it will try to apply if it is not if it is not an inheritable property it is not an inheritable property it will apply the apply the initial value it will apply the initial value initial value is nothing but a default value css default value the last one what we have learned is the revert one so what does this revert do here the revert what it will try to do is revert will apply <coughs> revert applies the browser default value the browser not the browser value the browser applied value it will take the browser applied value instead of taking the initial value instead of taking the initial value initial value means nothing but default value revert applies the browser applied value so browser applied value so that is the main thing so these are the three things inherit initial unset and also the revert so browser applied values means don't confuse with this one every browser has some default css values applied to is to apply to the each element we have seen it right block level element which we have seen it in the same scenario every css will be having every element will be having the browser applied css if you want this browser applied css means then you need to use the revert thing so here this is the revert thing we need to use otherwise if you use the initial property means automatically it will directly go and apply the css default value so this is all about the css inheritance concept so these are the four properties only you'll be having inherit initial unset and the revert and you have another property that is property that is nothing but all it will try to take all the properties whatever there for the inherit thing for the parent it will apply all those things if it is inheritable means it will apply the inheritance or otherwise it will take the initial value so this is all about the inheritance hope you understood about this inheritance concept in the css if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you